welcome back to my channel today i thought i'd bring you another empties video because my box is filling up again as per usual so i'm going to start off like as i always do and just pick stuff out of the box at random and first up i can see two deodorants i always use the Shaw invisible black and white deodorant i've actually recently bought a new one and that's only because i ran out of deodorant just was in the supermarket asked him to pick me up this one and he picked up like the wrong scent but i think i'll go back to this one <laughs> in future it leaves no white marks i like it's sweat proof it just basically does everything that it's supposed to do and do you know what's really weird this one isn't even empty so i'm not sure why it's in here because this is like my travel size one that i always keep in my travel toiletry bag which is always packed i'm pretty sure you guys know this by now i always have like a toiletry bag that is just packed because I never know like I'm really spontaneous for booking holidays and trips and things like that but equally I might just decide to go and stay at my aunt's or stay at my grand's for a week and you know like it's just easier to have it already and so this one I should really put back it's not actually empty it's slightly different though this one's the invisible aqua but I think they both smell the same but yeah it says it provides 48 hours of long lasting freshness it does it it does everything that it claims to do so it's great okay you guys know the drill if you've watched any of these videos before you'll know that nishi always goes through a gazillion of these pots like a month <laughs> this is the boots essential curl cream it's the only hair product i use it works really really well for my hair it's like one pound 29 or they're about it's super cheap you get 250 ml worth of product in a pot it's great um i have a full review on just this hair product so i will link that video somewhere in the cards above if you want to go and have a look at it but it isn't like because my hair's thick and curly this works for me i feel like if your hair was thin and curly you might find this too heavy for your hair it's a little bit greasy and you do definitely have to wash it out every couple of days but i wash my hair very like quite a lot quite often and so it works well for me i've been using it for years and i probably will continue to use it until the day they discontinue it which i hope is never <laughs> let me just get the boring products out of the way because you've seen these before but they're in my empty so i thought i would just show you and then we'll move on to the more exciting stuff the stuff that doesn't usually crop up next up is the garnier micellar cleansing water this is just the original one it's for sensitive skin i just use this as my first cleanse well i use it to remove my makeup which i don't know if that's correct but i take my makeup off with this including my eye makeup and then i go with the proper balm cleanser all over my skin with a wet flannel and just properly cleanse my skin but this to remove makeup does the job really well and these are of course travel size they're both 100 ml i normally pick these up in primark because they're cheaper in there they are 99p as opposed to i see i swear i've seen these for like 3.99 in sainsbury's i'm not even joking which i think is ridiculous i would never pay that for this definitely pick it up in primark or some of the like cheaper stores or whenever it's on sale or whatever one thing i will say about this actually is my younger cousins always used like makeup wipes like wet wipes or whatever to remove their makeup and i used to do that as a kid as a teenager whatever and yeah it's fine when you're like under the age of 30 or whatever like your skin doesn't feel it as much when you hit 30 but they are so bad for the environment and i wasn't sure what to recommend to them because they're not gonna like double cleanse and they're not gonna go in with like a cream or a balm cleanser and then tone and all of that you know they're like in their teens and so i recommended this to them and they love it it works just as well so if you are looking to like get rid of the wet wipes and which i highly recommend you do because they are bad for the environment like i said then i would suggest just using this i reckon back in my 20s i probably could have got away with just using this and not going in with a proper cleanser but now any little like skincare blip that i make my skin definitely notices it so yeah i definitely always cleanse after using that this is the avon skin so soft and you guys might have heard of this it's not finished but i'm binning it it's actually a dry oil body spray and 
One of the ingredients in here is citronella and this had like so many great write-ups because I actually think that somebody in the army discovered this. They used it as like a body moisturiser and they found that they just had no mosquito bites or insect bites when they were abroad and like it has rave reviews everywhere so when i was going to kenya i had to like have a lot of jabs and like we're going to like look lots of places that had like a high risk of malaria so i had to buy like mosquito repellent and stuff like that and mosquito repellent is actually quite expensive i'm pretty sure it's like 12.99 and there's always that worry like is it gonna work do i need it like you're never gonna finish a whole bottle depending on how long you go away for and then it goes out of date really quickly Quickly. and then some people say it's better to buy mosquito repellent from the country that you're in but like I don't know where to like go when I'm like you know there's just a whole big thing so I googled this and this is like under a fiver like I actually got a deal because this is like a limited edition packaging and there was some sort of deal where you get three bottles for nine pounds and free shipping um, just off the Avon website, which is really good because it meant I got them for three pound a bottle. I think they're like three pound fifty anyway. And so when I went to Kenya, we were in three different parts. We went, we were in Nairobi, which you don't need like mosquito repellent or malaria tablets and stuff for. But we also went to Mombasa and Masai Mara, and there's a really high risk of malaria. I think that's what it's called there. So you have to take the tablets and you have to take DEET and all that sort of stuff. I literally just took this. I didn't buy mosquito repellent, and oh my. God, does this really work? It is so good. I am the first person to get bitten by mosquitoes, even when there aren't any. Like, one will just find me and bite. Like, whenever I go away, I am covered in mosquito bites. And considering I was at Masai Mara, I went on safari, it was hot. I had sleeveless tops on and stuff like that. I only had three mosquito bites and Funnily enough, you're all in Nairobi and there's not meant to be many mosquitoes there and there's no like health warning on the government travel website or whatever. So I didn't use this and that was literally the three days I didn't use this. I got bitten by a mosquito like each day, which was ridiculous. But I I can't believe I went to Masai Mara and Mombasa and didn't get bitten by a single mosquito and I slathered myself in this like i think you have to be careful because it's oil and if you're going out into the sun but i don't sunbathe i don't stay stay out in the sun for longer than i need to be so i was fine but i wouldn't recommend slapping it all over your body and like you know lying down on the beach to fry but this is so good i'm so impressed it's not like it does smell because it definitely has citronella in it but it's not as bad as like traditional mosquito repellent i do remember when we went to thailand we stayed in like this igloo in Krabi, and it was a tiny little hut like kind of in the middle of nowhere and we had like the deep spray that you're supposed to use and i like just used to kick me out every morning out of our igloo to go and spray myself like outdoors because the smell is just just so intense like you can't breathe it gives you a headache it's awful so in comparison this is like great it doesn't even smell that bad yeah it's definitely like a citronella-esque smell but it's not that bad at all so if you're going somewhere with mosquitoes just buy a bottle of this you will not regret it i'm just binning it because it's not something that like i want to use it doesn't smell that nice <laughs> to like want to use it at home as like a dry or body spray and there's only a little bit left so there's no point me keeping it until the next time i go away somewhere with mosquitoes next up another body product um, this is the garnier body repair anti-dryness restoring lotion i've bought this for years and it was ever since i saw caroline hirons years ago talking about this and she always says spend the majority of your money from the neck up or the shoulders up i think and like buy the cheap basically buy all the cheap crappy products for like the shoulders down and save your money or save your pennies for the higher end products for your face which i totally agree with and she said this was one of the best body lotions i've lost the lid like i I have no idea what happened to that it was really old though but there is a lid and it like you know you squeeze it out there's literally nothing wow there is literally nothing left in here but it's probably been sitting out for quite a while it's pretty dried up this is such a good body moisturizer i've tried quite a few i have quite a few on the go because i've been sent a few and i've just got like loads and out of all the ones i've tried this is the one that i would always repurchase because i have really dry skin on my legs i'm not the best at remembering to moisturize them unless it's like summer or spring and i'm wearing midi skirts and so this is just great like your legs don't look dry even if you haven't moisturized them like all winter which 
maybe I'm guilty of, maybe I'm not. Then it comes like spring and you're like, oh, I wanna get my legs out. Stick this on and your legs just don't look dry and it, it is really, really hydrating. So I would definitely recommend this. And again, I'm pretty sure you can pick it up from like all supermarkets and like boots and wherever. And it's often like got a deal or whatever going on. I'm gonna try and finish all my other products before I repurchase that one again though. Next I have two eyebrow pencils from NYX. These are called the Micro Brow Pencil and I wear them in the shade Espresso. It's really funny because I always used to wear gel or pomade on my eyebrows and I never thought I'd like the pencil look but it is so much softer and I love the way these apply. They last like a, quite a long time I have to say but they just glide on really easily and the formula is like soft and creamy I guess without being too soft so you don't like lose half the product while you're applying it it doesn't smudge everywhere but it's like it's the perfect consistency it's not too hard so that you're like like brushing it onto your eyebrows with force but it's not like it's soft enough to just you know work your way through your brows but I'm sure I've shown you these before but one end has a spoolie which is great because since I stopped wearing a gel or a pomade I no longer carry a brush and the other end well you can't see it but it's a really fine tip and so I just find it really handy just to like if you want to feather on like a few hairs a few sort of strokes at the front of your eyebrows just fill in the rest as normal so I absolutely love these and I actually picked up like I want to say three but I think I might have picked up six in the Black Friday sale because they were like three for two and they had 25% off and so I think I picked up six of them because I go through them pretty quickly and I wear them all the time you guys have probably seen this in every video and I'm hoping this is the last of my stash because honestly I'm getting bored of talking about it but this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel the very first concealer I ever found that was like this perfect spot-on shade for me and I wore it for years and years and years was about to bin all of them until I realized you can pull the stopper out and like get more product out I have a whole video on this too which I'll try and link on screen so I've been like using up the excess and I haven't used it for ages I really do think this is the last one it's a good concealer it's pricey and I've found others that are maybe not the exact perfect shade but they're like 95% there and they're a lot more affordable so I wouldn't repurchase the NARS one. I have a Nip and Fab colour corrector in the shade Terracotta. I wear these all the time. If you guys have been watching me for years I used to love the Bobbi Brown correctors and they again were the perfect shade to cover my dark circles. I can't just wear concealer on its own although I found one that kind of I can get away with but generally I can't wear concealer on its own because my dark circles are just too dark and so I have to colour correct them first and this is the first product I found that is the exact same shade as the Bobbi Brown ones but instead of like 20 quid this is like I don't even know like seven pounds or so it's really really good absolutely love these I just don't like the brush applicator but you know for almost a third of the price or whatever the Bobbi Brown ones are I'm not complaining like you have to like squeeze the product out and then it comes out onto the brush then you apply it but it's okay it's not the best but I like that it's a liquid product I like that like, you're able to squeeze it out and so yeah this is definitely something that I'd repurchase until like they stop making it <laughs> next we have a shower gel I don't know if you'll be able to see this actually it's a bit bright this is the what's it called by invitation by Michael Bublé it came in a gift set I've had this for absolute years and I thought you know what it's about time I use it up it's a luxury shower gel it came in a gift set with the perfume the perfume I absolutely adore it's got a really beautiful bottle but I haven't finished that yet I just use the shower gel up it's fine on its own but it's nicer when you use this and wear the perfume at the same time because it just makes that scent last a little bit longer so that was nice next up I have two high-end mascaras this is the Charlotte Till oh ah how do I do this this is the Charlotte Tilbury full fat lashes I got a mini in my Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar Oh, not last year, the year before. And I also have the Marc Jacobs one, but I'll talk to you about that in a minute. First of all, I don't really wear a lot of mascara. I don't pile it on trying to get long, fluttery lashes. I'd rather just stick on a pair of falsies like I've done today. It's just so much easier, I think. And this 
is obviously made for people that want like really thick fluttery lashes and this style of wand just doesn't work for me at all my lashes are really short and stumpy and pretty much non-existent i'm just happy if i can get this eye to curl you guys know my lvl lash lift problems and so i'm not that bothered by like volume i just want the curl so this brush doesn't work for me because it just i find it really hard to, to like get this to grip onto the hairs and like wiggle it on so i wasn't a fan of this i know a lot of people love it but this one wasn't for me however this is the mark jacobs mascara this has the longest name ever and i bet i can't read it velvet noir major volume mascara this was sent to me and look it's personalized which i thought was so nice I don't know if you're able to see it. But this I absolutely love. And I think I have a backup somewhere as well. I really, really liked this mascara. The wand is great. Like, it really grips onto my lashes. It lifts them slightly. Nothing, like, there is not a single mascara in this entire world that I've tried that curls my lashes. They're just far too stubborn for that. But it really lifts my lashes a little bit. It coats them evenly. I just really like the way it works. You guys know me and you know that I'm not about high-end mascara at all. These are both gifted. Like I wouldn't, it's not something that I would choose to spend my money on because I think that drugstore mascaras work just as well. They just have ugly packaging. Like Maybelline mascaras are my favorite, but their packaging is just the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And so for that reason, I wouldn't repurchase this. I think sometimes the high-end ones are a little bit better, but not enough to justify like the huge increase in price. But the difference in price to what this would cost, I couldn't justify that. And so for that reason, I wouldn't repurchase this. I do have a backup, which I'll obviously use because Mark Jacobs very kindly sent me another mascara out. But I like it. I just don't like it enough to repurchase it is basically what I'm trying to say. I have this serum from Indeed Labs. It's called their Radiance Booster Serum and it's a 30ml product in a glass bottle. I love serums. I have to be honest, I was sent this by the brand and I can't say that I noticed a visible difference like in terms of the radiance of my skin. And I don't know if that's because most days I just don't wear makeup. I wear skincare but not makeup. But also because I received this like last year and last year I was literally at home for like a week and then i'd be off somewhere for two weeks so i'd be back for a week i was i wasn't at home like for a month consistently to be able to trial this out and so i don't know if i would have like noticed a visible difference if i'd have used it every single day for a month as opposed to spaced out over eight months just whenever i'm at home so that was a bit of a fail on my part it was a nice serum i just feel like it feels really nice in the winter and it adds a bit more hydration to my skin and it helps makeup glide on really well and things like that but in terms of like what it claims to do i, I i'm not going to say no but I, I can't say yes either because i didn't trial it out properly if that makes sense i have had these two products sat in my bathroom for the longest time like they've been in my bathroom cabinet they're actually covered in dust but this is the essay lauder advanced night repair this is the advanced night repair eye cream i bought these so long ago i just don't use night cream like eye cream at night i sleep on my front and i literally have my face buried in the pillow when i'm asleep and so i find that if i apply my eye cream and do all my skincare like 5 p.m before dinner or whatever then that's okay because that's like had ages to like, absorb into my skin but if i do it right before bed there's no way i'm putting eye cream on because i find it just gets in my eye because i'm such a weird sleeper and i have my face like literally smushed into a pillow and i toss and turn a lot i just don't want to risk getting stuff in my eye and so i i didn't really use this enough it had like a nice texture it was such a waste of money like i really i don't know this this wasn't for me i'm sure it's a great product but i just can't tell you if i really liked it or not it's just definitely time to say goodbye to it because honestly it's been sat in my bathroom cabinet for at least three years <laughs> so uh, actually three five if i'm being honest same with this one it came as a set and this is the advanced night repair i used to really really like this actually i've in fact i don't really have anything left maybe a teeny tiny bit but this was really nice on my skin i haven't used it for years so I, I don't feel like it's a product that i need right next i'm getting rid of my real techniques miracle complexion sponge these cases must have come out years ago i think or like 
a year ago and it took me so long to hunt one of these down in fact i remember putting it on my instagram story and i was like really excited i was like oh my god boots i finally got them in stock and i know like at least four people dm'd me and they said they were going to rush out and buy one and now i feel bad because i used this all of last year and like i said i was traveling a lot so this was really really handy but actually i think this is a really bad case because i noticed that my beauty blender would start to go moldy in it like if i'm traveling so i do my makeup in the morning and i have to check out of a hotel like my sponge isn't going to be dry in time and that's what this case is designed for because obviously like this is my sponge in my case and it's a lot smaller because it's completely dry when it's wet it expands because it's a sponge and that it expands to this size basically that's what the case is made for so the idea is that you put your wet sponge in here and it has little holes where it says rt to like help the sponge breathe i guess or circulate air or whatever i don't know but i just don't think it worked because my sponge would just go moldy i was constantly replacing them and i don't know if this is mold i've never really seen mold on a sponge before but i use this one week like for a few days and that week i just had so many breakouts and i was convinced it was down to this sponge but let me just show you how awful it looks i don't know if you were to see it's like loads of little black spots there's so many black spots all over this sponge it's terrible to me that looks like mold i don't even want to touch this anymore actually so i'm definitely binning that but i'm pleased to say that i actually found a silicon case a real tech real techniques now do like a softer case so it's better for my makeup bag because i can like squash things in but also it has way more holes in it and so far so good i've been using it for a few months now and it's completely fine so i much prefer that but finally we're on to the last product and again this is something that i've had for quite a while now but i think i'm one of these people whereas when i have a product that i really like or something that's really pricey i try and make it last as long as possible and i definitely did that with this one this is the charlotte tilbury magic cream and I know this retails for £70, so let me tell you now, it's good. Well, in fact, it's great, but it's not £70 great. So I will not be repurchasing this, but I love this moisturiser. Like, there's literally nothing left in here. I've scraped it all out. I even have the mini, and I've been depotting it into my mini for my travel makeup bag. And in fact, there's a little teeny bit left in there, but... Yeah, this is a magic cream. It's great, it does wonders for your skin. Love the packaging, of course. It's Charlotte Tilbury, what's not to love? But I just, I can't justify 70 pounds on a moisturizer. If I had any like specific skin concerns and it really bugged me and this was the only way to fix it, then of course I'd repurchase it and cry at the same time. But yeah, it's, it's not, it's not worth 70 pounds in my opinion but yeah that is my empties i feel like i've rambled on for as long as i normally do but there's just been fewer products so i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up that will just tell youtube that you guys like my video and they will boost it higher in their ratings and make it available for more people to see so that would really help me out and thank you so much for the love of my veganuary video i didn't know it'd be that popular i've had messages comments dms everything from you guys telling me how much you loved it how helpful you found it and i honestly just didn't think it'd be that popular so i'm definitely filming a part two i've put up a question box on my instagram and people have given me like suggestions on where to go next and what to try but thank you so much for all the love and please hit that subscribe button because then you'll know when that video goes live i probably won't post it on my normal upload days just because i want it to go up as soon as possible before the end of january so you guys can go out and try these wonderful dishes if i like them but thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye